and hello welcome back again um, today we're working on the cabinet I have uh, done some corner bracing um, I've chosen this as the front I've added a cleat down here and a cleat up here for the uh, reveals on the two I will make them um, barn style uh, cabinet doors to go with the theme um, I had to break down and gotten by this uh, piece of Luan it's three quarters inch uh, Luan ply uh, and it's working out okay I've cut pieces of quarter inch Luan ply to go over this I'm using I'll be using that as a, a filler for the edge banding here and edge banding down here I'm gonna glue that and set that in place I'm gonna fill in the bigger holes like this one or I might not I might not depending on how my mother-in-law feels um, she's giving me carte blank so again um, anything more or less that I want to do to this is uh, up to me uh, what I'll probably end up doing is I'm gonna cut a piece of uh, a Luan three-quarter inch plot like that I'm gonna cut it out a 45 degree miter on the table saw I'm gonna go across the uh, bottom half on this side here as well as that side so everything comes down and then you have a 45 degree miter on this side and then just ch uh, cut out cut away those pieces or just maybe just cut it up as long as sh shallow enough to fit in between the two supports for the corners the corner bracing um, I might do that I might not I might just go by some quarter round um, uh, pieces of uh, trim anyway so the cabinet's done it's been sanded smooth it's been feather it hasn't been featherettes all that much I've left some rough corners and edges here uh, I'm making the doors and uh, this is what I'm thinking about making the doors of I have a lot of scrap wood as you can see I'm going to get as many matching pieces as possible for example this would be a bottom piece here um, like so. You know, I have it on the Luan just so that it's all on an even, on an even uh, platform before I start cutting things down to size. So I'm thinking about having it follow through like this. Go across like so. And then some white wood in the, in the mix. So it's all mixed match. I'm trying to get all the pieces to uh, line up and come up to the uh, 20 or so inches that I need to go uh, height wise and then it's 12 and a half uh, width so as long as it's more than 12 inches this is, will be cut down I'm gonna trim off any uh, screwed up edges like this here I'm gonna trim that down with a table saw so as long as it's over 25 and a half sorry yeah, no, sorry, it's 20 and a half inches height. I'm good. And then I'm gonna get the matching sides to match the doors. I'm leaving the any kind of uh, maker's marks, like branding here. Uh, this is rough sawn on the back. Um, so I'm gonna match them as best as, as possible. And once I have a, a matching set that I can, from this, pull a door, I'm just gonna pocket hold the damn thing and glue it all in place and uh, get it uh, glued and uh, brought in and get all the pieces nice and square as possible and uh, make a door and then I'm going to trim it out in um, strips of the I don't know you can't see it because it's under the tape but I cut a uh, half inch strip of uh, low amp ply and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little uh, diamond like like a herringbone diamond in the middle with the Luan ply strips um, all the way across and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side and then put in the uh, knob of the corners I'm waiting for the uh, hinges to arrive from Amazon but uh, I'm using a lot of tight bond glue um, and that's the one I'm using right now the ultimate type bond number three waterproof exterior interior and that works just fine it's 
once it's dry, it's like concrete. Uh, that's my $20 nailer, my free air compressor my father gave me. Um, let me go ahead and 